everybody, welcome to another edition of Wild at Home. Today is knife sharpening day. We're gonna get edgy, we're gonna stay sharp, we're gonna get to the point. We're gonna have a knife day, I don't know, all those things. We're gonna have fun. I thought it was a really good opportunity. Everybody's at home cooking more than ever. Everybody is chopping more than ever. Everybody is dulling their knives more than ever. So we're gonna do a quick tutorial 101 on whetstone sharpening. So we're gonna talk about three things. One, what is a whetstone? What kind of whetstones to look for? Number two, what's your angle and your pressure when you're in technique generally, when you're using a whetstone? And then three, what is a burr and what does that mean and how to find one and how to get one when you're sharpening your, your knives? There are hundreds of videos out there. Everyone's a little different. Everybody has different techniques and takes. We're gonna to cut to the point and, uh, and get into it. That's enough puns for today. Let's jump into Knife Sharpening 101. Stones. There's lots of different stones you can get. These are soaking stones. You can also get splash and go stones. I recommend soaking stones. And there's really only three grits you need to think about. You're gonna have your 300 grit, which is gonna be your fixing stone. So if you have chips, damage to your knife, you're gonna spend a lot of time on that really tough coarse stone. Then you got your 1200 grit or your 1000 grit. That's gonna be your kind of your workhorse. And then your polishing stone, which is anywhere from I think 5,000 to 30,000. And this one's a 6,000. That's really all you need. If you're going above, that you might be overkill if you're just an amateur like myself. So you're gonna soak your stones for about 15 to 20 minutes once the air bubbles are all done then it's time to get sharpening. Okay first thing first let's talk about the knife. It's about a nine inch blade. It's a chef knife. Every time you chop and hit your knife on the board it's gonna round your, your metal over and that's what you need to sharpen and bring back. So that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna hold your knife like this thumb right here and then you're gonna find your edge at finding your edge here, is if you place your knife flat down, put two fingers half on the blade and then half on the stone, and turn it up until your knife is flush with the stone, that's gonna be your, your angle, it's gonna be pretty darn close. So then at that point, you're going to start back and forth. You're gonna push up and apply pressure on the way down. So up, pressure on the way down. Don't apply it when you're pushing up, you're gonna gouge into your stone and you're gonna wreck your stone really quickly. So there are no corners to cut when you're knife sharpening. It is just nose to the grindstone. There's no way around it. The most common angle for your knife sharpening in the kitchen is gonna be about 15 to 20, somewhere in there. Don't kill yourselves trying to get the exact angle of your knife. What's more important is that you are consistently sharpening at the same angle over and over again. That's gonna be way more important than finding 16 degrees or 21 degrees or whatever exactly it is you need to find. Careful walking your fingers up and down the blade. You really wanna give yourself some space between the edge of the blade and where your fingers are walking. I say overall, you guys, this is gonna take you about 20 minutes. So all this little slurry, that's great. You don't have to wash that off. That just, it's gonna add to the abrasion here. Keep adding water. And every knife is so different. Every knife is, is kind of like a snowflake, except the snowflake will cut you if you mess it up. So what we're looking for is creating a burr. We're going to be wearing off the metal of this edge and creating a new edge, essentially. If you guys rush this part, which is really tempting to do because you want to get onto that nice polishing, finishing stone, you're just going to be polishing a dull knife. This is the most, most important part. Take your time, put the practice in, get your angle consistent, make sure that you are putting the right amount of pressure on, and then you're gonna get a great result when you bring it to the polishing stone. All right, you can see the burr has formed along the entirety of the knife now. Now it's time to switch blade. It's time to switch bevels, actually. So you're gonna flip the knife around, you're gonna put it in the other hand, start exactly the same way. We're gonna fold that burr over now, but we're gonna just do it twice on this stone. So we're gonna go back and forth until that burr kind of flips back over again, and then we're gonna move to the next stone. There's a little rock you can see with my body. I like to, uh, I like to sway to the sound of this knife against the block. But don't soak your polishing stone. It's just gonna be a splash and go. I'm going to use exactly the same angle and I'm going to put just a little less pressure on it as I'm polishing and trying to get this nice mirror reflected look. You can, you can hear the sound of the knife is different. It's smoother. It's kind of like glass. 
All right, so I've given this a once over on both sides. And now at this point, you're gonna dry the knife and then you give it the old the famous paper test. So I'm getting a little bit of rip. That means I'm gonna go back through, um, I'm gonna go back to my 1200 stone, work it again, get a burn each side, and then bring it back one more time with a polishing stone, work it on each side just like we talked about, and then any of this rippage will, will go away. It should slice through. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for cutting some time out for us. I hope you have a knife day. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Stay edgy. I don't know. Whatever else you want to poke in there. If you want to get more in depth, leave some comments, some questions. We'll maybe make another one, um, a level two, and we'll break stuff down for a little bit longer. But that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next week, but we'll figure it out together like always. Happy sharpening. Stay wild. See ya.